Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. My name is Aiza Basit and today my science fair project is about tsunamis. What is a tsunami and how is it caused? Tsunamis are a sequence of massive waves. They can travel approximately 500 to 800 kilometers per hour. The waves could go up to 10 to 100 feet high. This can cause tons of destruction just by tsunamis and could destroy anything that comes in contact with them. Tsunamis are caused by disturbance in the ocean by submarine landslides, which are underwater landslides, volcanic eruptions, landslides close to oceans, and earthquakes underwater. Earthquakes are the most common disaster that causes tsunamis. This happens because when the plate tectonics cross over each other, the overlying water starts to move away from the earthquakes, causing waves to occur, and then a tsunami is created. This is a diagram where the blue area shows earthquakes, and this is the major cause for tsunamis. This is a picture of a tsunami that occurred in Japan in 2011, and it's a major tsunami. It lasted for six minutes and was caused by an earthquake called Tohoku. It was approximately 9.3 meters high and caused 20,000 deaths and the cost for the damage was 360 billion US dollars. Where do tsunamis usually occur? Tsunamis mostly occur in the Indonesia and Pacific Oceans because that's where the earthquakes occur. It happens there often because of the Ring of Fire, which is located on this map, which is a region and in which causes the tsunami to happen as well. About 80% of the tsunamis happen in from the Ring of Fire. As you can see on the map, the high risk of tsunamis, which are the red, overs, uh, red areas over here, are happening in where the maroon lines, which are over here. This is because the maroon lines represent the high seaside occurrence, which are underwater earthquakes and tsunamis are caused by earthquakes. Also, the areas that are gray, which are here on the map, mean that there are no tsunamis that have occurred there yet. And this is because they are not surrounded by any oceans or there haven't been any disasters that happened there yet. Impact of tsunamis. Number one is it causes destruction to hundreds and thousands of people to die. Number two, destroys the environment. Number three, tons of houses get ruined by these huge waves, leaving no home standing or no use to live in. Number four, cost to rebuild the infrastructure. And number five, economic loss. How to prepare for a tsunami. You should be aware of any alerts that happen on the news. A sign for a tsunami coming could be any rises of water levels. You should prepare an emergency kit. If in an actual tsunami, then go on high grounds, get all the essentials that are needed, and or you should plan an evacuation route of where you can go. Interesting facts. The tsunamis that occurred in Indian Ocean on 2004, it hit 14 other countries from Thailand all the way to Africa, which killed 250,000 people, and it's estimated that the power was like 23,000 atom bombs. Tsunamis can last to around 5 minutes to 2 hours. In Canada, the area at higher risk is British Columbia. A tsunami can occur by a meteorite, but that's rare. And after tsunami, large amounts of salt is left that can poison fresh water. Jazakallah.